The year 2020 commemorates the 100th anniversary of women's right to vote across the United States. The Frick is celebrating with a series of videos honoring the stories of women at the museum who made, appeared in, collected, and took care of art in this collection. I'm filming this from my home here in New York City, and I want to give a quick thank you to all of the healthcare staff, delivery people, and other essential workers, including those keeping museums like the Frick safe during this difficult time. This installment highlights two extraordinary objects in the Frick's collection. Take a look at these two letters, S-C. These are the initials of Suzanne Decour, the only known female head of a workshop producing luxury objects like this pair of enameled salt cellars in the famous center of enamel painting, Limoges, in France at the end of the 16th and early 17th century. She's the only known woman amid generations of men to have led a workshop in Limoges. But what's her story? Unfortunately, we know very little about her. We don't know when she was born or died or what she looked like. She was part of the Decour family of enamelists, but we don't know if she was the daughter of an artist or married one, becoming head of the workshop after her husband died. And we don't know if she actually made all of the objects that bear her name, or if, like her male counterparts, as head of a workshop, she would put her name on whatever the workshop produced. Still, she is unique, and her workshop created some of the finest enamels of her time. These salt cellars are decorated with scenes from the story of Orpheus, the tragic figure in Greek mythology. Here, for example, the handsome young Orpheus plays his lyre, a gift from the sun god Apollo. On the other salt cellar, Orpheus dies. There's his head in the water with his lyre, and to the right, Apollo protects the head from a hungry-looking dragon. As salt cellars, little dishes to hold salt, and remember that salt was an extremely expensive commodity in this period. These would have decorated the dining room of their wealthy owner, and were probably used very rarely, on special occasions, if at all. So the next time you ask someone to pass the salt, give a thought to Suzanne Decor and other women active in the production of art objects around the world.